Everybody knows the secret. <laughs> Secret is surrender. To really surrender to, to the unconditional state of life, of creation. And that is something to think about. The whole of creation is just waiting for you to surrender. Realize that you're part of this all, that this is you. You may leave it, you be, may become estranged from it and alienated from it, but it will always be there in the present until you rediscover it. That's part of the wonderful mystery of creation. Nothing happens in some past place or in some future place. Everything happens exactly in the present. I like my mental body to just remember to be here now. that I am here now in this. <laughs> yeah. If your attention is caught up in the world's doings, then it drifts off the whole time. Most of the time, we are either in the past or in the future. It's just our mental bodies that distracts us and alienates us from being here. Oh, I think I've <clears throat> I've experienced quite a lot of things that man is prone to uh, experience. Uh, being in public and feeling the awareness of people and their projections. There was a time in my life when these things disturbed me uh, and really put me off course. The world is, consists of these stories that people tell each other. These stories tend to pin you down. And we pin each other down with our stories as well. Um, our judgments about others, our judgments about ourselves. And, and a lot of it is unconscious. It's projections that you receive from the world around you, building a reality which is not real at all. It's just totally illusionary. It's part of our mental ability is to go on automatic and to install stories inside yourself which will keep on reinforcing certain negative perceptions. You nurture this victimhood uh, and you nurture this suffering uh, as though it belongs to you, as though you've identified with it. you can get out of that paradigm and realize that you must take responsibility for everything that happens to you because it's meant for you. Other people can't help you. you. You must take responsibility for your journey. Where I am and what comes to me, I must deal with that. 
it's unconditionally uh, must just deal with what life is bringing to me, putting on my plate. Everything that life deals you is a gift. If love, the word love has any meaning, that's what it means. It's an unconditional surrendering to what is. You must unconditionally accept everyone and everything as it is. Well, the moment love is conditioned, it's no longer love. There are strings attached, there are agendas behind it. So unconditional love is something that really, I think, brings one a bit to a standstill. It means not being judgmental. It means not reacting immediately to something that you find unacceptable or uncomfortable at that moment, but to look again. Love is there, that intangible uh, constant of the, of, the, of the eternal present. I don't know if you know the music of Donald Brand. He says, Behold the night and day, gently, gently, they give way to each other, dear brother. I met him of the night, with his arms full of love, light, I can't recall the whole poem just, just at this very moment. Um, but it's, it's really beautiful. It's really something to listen to. Uh, I'm grateful to be alive. I think life is a marvelous gift. Uh, and it's a great paradox and a great mystery. Um, and yeah, and, um, I, it's just to have these feelings of gratitude. Uh, it's part of just realizing this is the gift of life. And it all comes back to, to love, which is the basis, the foundation of creation. The answer is to just be there unconditionally. Knowing that love is all there is. To all of you who have contributed, for those of you who've shared our films, for those of you who have written our comments, this journey is just beginning. And we've put a Patreon link below our films, so if you would like to continue to support us, we'd love for you to donate below. Thanks so much.